What's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an issue that I've encountered with my MacBook Pro. So as you remember, I recently did an unboxing video of this 2016 to 2017 model of the current MacBook Pro uh, 15 inches. And after using it for around two months, I've encountered an issue um, with the keyboard itself. Um, so the problem here is uh, whenever typing uh, the letter H, uh, what happens is that it sometimes uh, the button sometimes understands the commands that I'm, um, I'm inputting uh, on that button H and it will respond to it. Other times it will just randomly stop or it will actually duplicate. So it will give you two hedges instead of one hedge that you wanted to type. So um, for demonstration purposes, I have uh, Microsoft Office. Uh, word uh, up and running here and I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate that over to you guys So let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see here um, Whenever I'm typing on the keyboard itself. So the keyboards here the, the MacBook is um, Rested on a flat surface. So it's it, it's not because it's on my lap or you know It's somewhere else where the surface is uneven. It's, it's nicely rested on this tabletop here So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to type in uh, we're going to press the uh, the key hatch and see uh, how it responds to it. So uh, pressing it, it's responding. So we're, uh, we can see a hatch. Pressing it again, it responded. Pressing it again, it did it, it, it did it twice. So I mean, I, I didn't. I only pressed once, but it, it gave me two hatches as I as I mentioned earlier. So let's do a space and let's try again. So one, it didn't it didn't work this time. So do it again, single. Again, it gave me it gave me two hatches, as you can see. So there is a problem uh, now. Uh, it's not the button itself. Um, I have done a factory reset, so that's not the issue either. Um, reading online, uh, I have noticed that the 2016 and 2017 models of the MacBook Pro uh, do actually have this sort of issue um, where one customer or user might experience a different key. So normally you could have one or pairs of keys on your keyboard that will become non-functional over time. Uh, such as for me, it's hedge. For somebody else, it was a B. For another person, it was an uh, it was I. And for somebody, it was a P. So it's just random. It's random buttons that just stop working uh, um, after some time of using the MacBook. Um, now I've had this roughly for around two months, and for this thing to stop within two months, uh, it's quite frustrating. I mean, I've never had an issue with any of my laptops, uh, which which are all Windows. I never had this kind of issue within a few months, even after a few years of usage, I never encountered any sort of issue with the keyboard. Now it's it's not uh, it's not software related. It's definitely a mechanical fault. Um, somewhere underneath this keyboard, something's happening. It's it's not picking up the the key hatch, or as I said, any other key, depending on um, depending on on you specifically. So if you're the other user, you might have a different issue with a different key not responding. Um, I gave this. Um, I mean, I thought it might have been worthwhile just you know leaving it for a few days and testing it again every now and then. But the issue does the issue does come back. I mean, the issue never goes away. Um, I've done the latest updates on the MacBook as well. So I mean, it's it's nothing to do with any pending updates that I might need to carry out. I have the latest operating system from Apple as well. I think it's Ciara, something as that. So let's just go ahead and type an actual. Uh, sentence here with with uh, the involvement of hedge and see how many times it duplicates it and how many times it will miss it out. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Uh, and we're going to go, so we're going to just say, uh, hey there, um, how are you? How can I help you? Hello. So it missed the uh, hedge right there. Hi. Hey. Here. So it missed, missed another hedge. His her missed another hatch um, there here her his him so it, it duplicated the hatch as you can see so uh, I mean it's quite annoying if you're actually um, you know typing uh, on your MacBook and you're deep into the conversation maybe with somebody you might be writing a letter uh, you might be writing an email 
uh, and then you know you notice that there is quite a few uh, mistakes that you've missed hitches somewhere you've duplicated them somewhere and some that have actually worked so it's quite frustrating that you you need to go back and correct all these issues and and it becomes i mean you can do it once maybe you do it twice but to do it on a regular basis it's really frustrating um, and i think the current um, way to resolve this issue is, is, is there is nothing that we can actually do from our end and you're going to have to contact uh, Apple support uh, and probably need to send this in for a repair or for a replacement. Uh, the good thing is that they gave us a year of warranty with this so as this is a new MacBook two months old still have 10 months warranty and it's a good thing that this happened whilst it was under warranty so uh, my next steps are to you know send this in for a repair of course with Apple because they'll be the only ones to uh, deal with it if, if, if we try to uh, interfere with the uh, MacBook and try to open it up it's possible that it will void the warranty uh, and then you know even if you're not able to fix it then we're pretty much screwed because it's going to cost a lot more uh, as the, the warranty will been validated so uh, if you guys have experienced something similar uh, if you had a MacBook and you experienced the same issue I'd like to hear your thoughts on you know what your problem was with the keyboard which button didn't work and and what did you do in order to uh, fix that did you just wait did you just wait for it to, to wear in I mean it's two months into the MacBook uh, I have been using the keyboard so uh, I don't think it's the case of waiting for it to tear in but I'd love to hear your thoughts so uh, make sure to comment that in the comment section below I hope it's also actually helped you. Um, so I mean, if you're looking to buy a MacBook, a new MacBook, make sure it comes with a warranty. If you're buying secondhand from somebody, check the serial on their website to make sure there is some kind of warranty left on it, just in case you buy it and you experience some kind of issue uh, such as this, uh, which the user might not disclose to you previously. So it's always best to, uh, you know, make sure that you have some kind of warranty uh, with an expensive product such as this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, and as I mentioned if you have experienced a similar issue and you found a fix to it or whatever steps you carried out make sure to comment down below until next time peace out